All right, now let's sketch the graph of y equals negative absolute value of x plus 1 minus 1. And we'll get started by just graphing y equals x plus 1, easy function. It has a y-intercept of 1 and a slope of positive 1. So it goes over to the right by 1, up by 1. And here we go. Just sketch the line right here. Great. That's it, of course. But now we want to, of course, make the transformations so that this function becomes that one. And I will then graph the absolute value of x plus 1. And that will be equally as easy. We just need to reflect these values that are below the x-axis upward, above the x-axis. So negative 1 becomes positive 1, for example. Negative 2 becomes positive 2, and so on. And it's going to be a v-shaped graph. Starting over here, whoops. I mean, it's somewhat accurate. And over there. Okay, so our blue graph is just the absolute value of x plus 1. Nice. Now, let's sketch y equals the negative absolute, <coughs> sorry, absolute value of x plus 1. For this, all we need to do is actually reflect the blue graph on the x-axis. So it will look something like this. Over here and over here. That's it. And then finally, we're going to subtract 1. Let me pick a different color here. So we will have negative absolute value of x plus 1 minus 1. So every point is just going to go down by one unit. Every point goes down by one unit. And now we can just connect the dots. And over here, we have the final answer. So now the orange graph is y equals the negative absolute value of x plus 1 minus 1. And that's it.